like the worst thing like taking your coats out after summertime and then seeing they have stains on them anyways uh these shoes are from country road from last year really love them so comfy and then this jacket is from h&m from last year but i went in stores the other day and they have a lot of these things currently this one is just from last year and then this little pom-pom um, top is it's like a jersey i just have like a black um strappy top underneath is from old khaki also from last year but i like to do these outfits of the days to like show you my outfits because number one a lot of you ask for them and number two it's almost like inspiration so if you have something similar you can kind of you know take inspiration from it and then i just have my hair in a sleek pony because I'm gonna wash it tonight. <laughs> crazy day i will show you what i got um when we get home but for now i am at i think it's called um indaba no taba eco hotel with guests again so we have another guest event and i am just wearing like a full guest outfit but they actually have um they asked me if i wanted to source an outfit yesterday but i was just too busy um and you have to go to a specific mall and mall of africa is quite a drive so um i just kind of sent them pictures of what i liked and they said they will have it at the event for me so i have the the guest um pearl top on that um i got in the previous vlog but i'm gonna change into a little guess eco top let me actually show you what that looks like it's so cute this is what it looks like and i have guest jeans on and i have heels so i'm gonna put these on and then um yeah change into my top i'm gonna go and get a change into my top and then of course gonna bring you lippies along it's gonna be such a fun vlog this is almost like large safari vibes i think it really ties in well with the rest of the, the vlog you'll see exactly why but yeah let's go inside take my hand and walk beside me in a world of fun I'm wearing a 
different outfit. Find it hard to not give in. this isn't the only box that i got i'll show you in a second but the guest event was just so nice i ended up wearing a different outfit i know i showed you a <laughs> blouse i did see it in person but they didn't have my size for the boobies um so i ended up going with this tracksuit it's so cute so these were the pants how cute i absolutely love this this is kind of what it looks like up close. It's like a, um, it's like an embroidered kind of vibe and it really, really gives like, it gives Gucci. And giving me so much happiness today is this delivery from Take A Lot. I saw this a couple of weeks ago and they actually have so many nice things from this brand. Have a look at Take A Lot and search George and Mason. You will be surprised. I am so excited to open this. I'm actually supposed to be packing, but we're gonna pack together. We are doing a huge thing for Brains Mom's 60th this weekend and we're leaving tomorrow. I, that's what I basically went shopping for yesterday. And I packed a little bit last night so I can kind of show you how I pack for a camping trip. And obviously I'm gonna bring you along for everything. It'll be a fun vlog, but first, a little house update. <laughs> I find it hard to not give in. up the chairs I thought we could pack together because as I said we are doing like a little glamping camping 60th birthday bash for brains mom so yeah the theme is safari glamp or like bush camp but glamp so like whatever it is but just a little bit elevated so um, we're obviously gonna be casual and whatnot, but I really thought I would step it up with like the glam. I feel like I'm, I'm glamping anyways whenever we go camping. Um, so this is this is nothing new to me, but I saw this at Woolies. Um, when did I even buy this? Like a couple of weeks ago actually, but they have it still. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I need this. All of my leopard print stuff is like this color and I thought that this was just stunning and obviously we're going to be outside it's going to be cold so this is just oh this is just stunning so I'm going to wear this with an all black outfit so um there's going to be a lot of people there it's like friends and family and all of that so I'm thinking like black jeans and just boots and 
like a long sleeve something very simple so I'm gonna pack that and then I'm thinking tomorrow when we leave I'm just gonna wear like the same outfit that I want to wear because obviously when you go camping it's really hard um, to have like a lot of stuff you kind of want as little as possible because it's not nice to have like all of this luggage and it's it's nice to just live minimal like when I pack my skincare when I pack my makeup I pack minimal I pack like the most minimal things but they're obviously like glam so I think this is probably like the only jacket like coat like warm thing that I'm gonna take so I don't know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow but I really want to wear this uh, bikini, it's like a bikini cover-up that I shared in my cup she I did like a cup she haul so this is from cup she I really want to wear this tomorrow so I might wear this tomorrow and then just like put something warm on in the evening time and then on Sunday we're coming back so on Sunday I can literally wear like leggings and maybe like this I don't even know so yeah we're, we're gonna pack together um, and then we can go like pack the food and everything. So let's do clothes at first. pretty much everything for our glamping weekend I wouldn't normally pack this much um but it's really difficult if it's going to be cold because obviously coats and jackets take up a lot more space but I only have one and then I think I'm going to take my K-Way rain jacket just in case but this is my outfit for Saturday this is my outfit for tomorrow I have this which will be my outfit tomorrow i'm just gonna wear the linen top during the daytime because it's quite hot in the daytime and then in the evening we're obviously going to be sitting by the fire <laughs> we're sleeping in a tent so i just want to be warm um so for the evening time i'm keeping the same jeans on i'm just kind of switching out my outfit so it's both white so it'll work so i'm just doing a polar neck and then uh for, for the daytime i'm gonna wear my uh, these just give me safari vibes you can get similar like styles at Woolies, like Birkenstocks, um, Cotton On also do like the the double band style. It just gives me like safari, bush, chilled vibes, but still like glam. So that's my outfit for um, tomorrow. And then of course I have like a little leopard number because we want to stick to the theme and be glam. And then for um, like I'm going to, I'm going to try and like fit this. Obviously, this is going to be kind of for the daytime and like as the sun goes down, gets a little bit chilly. I'm very thorough when it comes to planning my outfits. <laughs> it's something that I just, I love and I just, I enjoy just being prepared. And if I look good, I feel good and I'm comfortable and I'm happy. So that's just me. And then during the evening time, I'll just wear this. And then for Saturday, which is basically like the main event, um, the main like evening where most of the people will be, I'm just going to wear an all black outfit um, with this coat and then my boots and this scarf. And then because there's going to be a lot of people, I generally don't like really taking pajamas. So I'm just taking a like tracksuit with a long sleeve and then a warm socks because boy, it yeah sleeping in a tent depending on the weather oh my goodness it can get really cold and then i just have some options for sunday when we come back home i have all of my underwear in this little baggie i have minimal makeup like hair ties and clips and all of that in here and then um i have like body care face care everything in this one
One thing about me is I will clean before we go somewhere because to me there is nothing worse than coming home to like a dirty house, especially if you haven't slept in your own bed for like two days. But yeah, update on these chairs. I'm not entirely in love. This is kind of what they are looking like in the space. And I actually wish that they were black. So I might get my brother to <laughs> reupholster them in the same suede. I really like the suede like velvet vibe. Um, but I think black will look better. But anyways, before we leave, um, I wanted to share this with you before I pack it. So it's obviously Brain's mom's um, birthday. And her birthday was in the beginning of the month. And it's now like the end of the month so we already got her a gift but i thought that it would be special to just give her something so i got this for her to wear <laughs> and then i told her to bring um uh, black leggings and then like cute shoes like black shoes and i got her an outfit to wear on her birthday and then just a cute little candle this is a vanilla scented one and just really gave me like that safari vibe. So I'm gonna pack this up and then we're gonna put the last few things in the car and then we're on the road. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down set up the dessert table so I was in charge of dessert and I got a whole bunch of things when I went shopping the other day I got a whole bunch of things for the table and we're gonna set it up together but let me go to the car I want to show you what I got and also before they start melting oh my goodness look what I got I got 120 Krispy Kreme donuts yeah, I need to get them out of this car now. If I let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Falling down, even if the sky is falling down, yeah. the sky 
and we had to say goodbye to Brain's grand and like so many moms in the family but today is also a really good day because we're celebrating a new mom and we're still in the hospital so I'm gonna call her a little bit later to wish her a happy Mother's Day and um, yeah I'm always like I have my moment in the morning and then I like pull myself together for the rest of the family because also Brayden um, still needs to celebrate his mom and we need to celebrate his mom still so um, I don't ever want to do something on Mother's Day because it's a very sad day for me um, and to be honest with you I'm jealous like I'm I'm jealous of everyone that gets to celebrate their mom today and I'm sad within my heart but as the years go by I just try and um, be strong um, it's not always easy to do so if you missed your mom on Mother's Day I wanted to send you a really really big and tight long hug um, you're not alone I miss my mom too and it's really hard it's really really hard to buy gifts and to prepare a meal and to like do a special day but you're missing your own mom it's really difficult but we have to be there for the new moms and the moms that are still around and just celebrate those that we can still love but I'm sending a lot of love to my mom and heaven today um I still have a mom she's just not here I have even better than a mom I have a mom and a guardian angel so that's that's what I'm focusing on today but just know that I'm thinking of you today and yeah let's end off this vlog with a little Mother's Day insert I wanted to end the vlog shortly after um, meeting my little nephew and I didn't tell you that I'm his godmother oh my goodness <laughs> Brad and I are his godparents and it truly was a magical moment I cannot explain it to you the moment I held that little bundle of joy, it, like my heart just like crumbled and I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when we have a baby one day, but oh my goodness, brain is like, I need to lock up my ovaries because after brain held that baby boy, I can feel it. I can feel this man wanting a child for me. <laughs> I can feel it. And like he like looks at baby clothes now and oh my goodness he needs to give me a little bit of time i need to become a wife first um but yeah we're just so excited for everything um that life has in store for us and i just wanted to say that the moment i said goodbye to the person that gave birth to me um someone that's supposed to be like your best friend um your leader in life and like someone that you look up to and um, someone that you've followed around for like 18 years <laughs> essentially um my, it felt like my life ended as soon as i said goodbye to my mom but i think in the last year i i realized that i still need to become a mom i need to grow into this person that um someone else is going to look up to and I'm going to have little feet running around after me one day so my life is not over um, and although I'm very sad to not be able to do all of those things with my mom um, I still have a lot to look forward to and I'm excited to share all of that with you so that's why I thought let me properly end this beautiful vlog because we celebrate Brain's mom in the beginning um, we're celebrating B as a new mom and we're having a couple of moms over so I'm gonna finish getting ready and I also wanted to show you some of the gifts um, that I got for the moms coming over so it's Brain's mom and um, Brain's aunt she's also a mommy and um, then we have Brain's um, girlfriend's mom also coming and I got all three of them really nice gifts so I can show you that let me get everything ready Brain is making pancakes we're having a pancake day. <laughs>